We're setting up to do some hydro testing of our pipeline for the line three replacement. Once the pipe is completely in the ground and tied in, we fill it with water. We do that to show that the pipeline has been built to the integrity that it needs to and that it's going to withstand the operating pressure that it has been designed to. So once a section is ready to hydro test, uh, the first step would be to clean it. So we send what we call poly pigs and brush pigs through. We put test headers on. And then once those are welded on and those welds are checked, then we could start filling the pipeline. And we start putting additional gallons of water into the pipe and starts pressurizing it. So it's called the squeeze. We're squeezing the water to make the pressure go up above pressure that it would see during operation. We hold it there for eight hours to make sure that there's no leaks. So the engineer in the trailer is writing down the pressure and the time and the temperature every 15 minutes of an eight hour test. And we give all adjacent landowners a 24 hour notice prior to hydro testing. All our water appropriations and water discharges are within our permits with both the DNR and the MPCA. We used water that was allowed by the permit, so it would have been water from surface river. And then there's a few wells that we have permitted. Uh, the water would have been moved from section to section to reuse it, and then it would be discharged back to source if it was from the river. If it was from the well, it was discharged back to land. And we set up a filtration system and we filter the water before putting it back into the river. In other places, we discharge it onto land, so we would have a similar filtration and it would let to settle and it would permeate into the ground and filter through into the groundwater from there. We were talking with the DNR about suspensions on the sources that we were permitted to use. We worked with them deciding on using different sources and reusing our water. And I think the biggest thing that Enbridge has done is the reuse of water. Basically, we took less than half of what we had planned on taking to be able to test. And there's 22 tests that have been planned on the Line 3 from the Minnesota-Wisconsin border to North Dakota. All of our test sections that have been tested have been successful. We've tested 18 out of 22 test sections, so we're nearly complete. And um, all of our smart pig runs have had zero anomalies and zero dents, so we haven't had to go back and do any rework. I take pride in what we do here at Enbridge. It feels awesome to be at the 95% complete section of this project and we can actually see the end of it coming. Uh, it feels pretty amazing.